soon. Um, but yeah, it's going to be uh, coming. I can't tell you when is the honest answer. Here we go. Am I on Facebook now? Facebook, hello. Hello. Um, sorry about that, guys. It's been a bad connection on Facebook. But Instagram's been getting all the exclusive goss. So I'm sure you can go on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter and tell each other all about the answers that you missed. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, so Unbreakable will be available very soon. Um, the Unbreakable, is it a cover of the Westlife song? No, it's actually not a cover of the Westlife song. Um, it's a song, it's an original song actually uh, that was written by somebody else, but it's a song that I've heard um, that Louis brought to my attention actually um, a couple of years ago. So it's a song that I've wanted to record since I've made my last album. Obviously, I really wanted to put this song on the album because it's, um, it's just a beautiful song. I love the song. It's a very powerful song. Um, so yeah, Louis was right. It, it ended up being the first single now as well. So it's uh, obviously it's uh, extra extra reasons for uh, for releasing it. You know, so it's yeah, it's uh, and I made the video for it very very a few days ago, um, and it's a really cool video. So you're going to be seeing all that very soon. I can't say when, but it's a couple of weeks away, maybe a bit longer, but uh, we, we'll get it soon. Um, which of your songs? Uh, one second now. Sorry, no. So how's everybody doing? Yeah, you okay? All good? I just want to get one second out. I'm just trying to get something here. One second. Da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. You're all still there. Don't worry. We'll work this out as we go along. Uh, let me see. Right. Everybody okay? <laughs> Sorry. There now. Um, so okay, which songs is of your which of your own songs? Oh, sorry, are on the album. Okay, so there's three songs on the album. Um, I wrote like a few more for the album, but I felt like these were obviously their ballads, and I felt like they suited the album, you know, a, a lot more. And uh, we did a couple of up tempos and stuff, and I wrote these songs with the guys, um, Paul Barry and Patrick Maskell, the guys I wrote with on the first album. You might remember "All You Need to Know." Uh, that was that song. Um, and a couple of songs obviously on the deluxe album of the first album as well. So they're really good guys. I roll with them in Metrophonic um, and we had a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's, writing is something I love, something I love to do. Um, I knew this obviously album was a love songs album and mostly cover versions and stuff of my favourite songs. But I still wanted to write for, for myself and, and for you guys because I know you want to hear um, obviously original tracks as well. Um, so yeah, so the three songs uh, are uh, Crazy Over You, which is... Uh, it's a very true story, you know, it's, it's just basically about when I kind of fell in love with Gillian and um, the kind of story behind that. Um, so when you hear it and you hear the lyrics, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really beautiful song, I feel, and it's crazy over you. Hope you like it. Um, the next one, Eyes Don't Lie. Actually, this song isn't about me, but it's, it's about just in general, um, you know, it's a... Uh, I suppose anybody can relate to the song. Everybody's gone through different experiences, and I suppose, in relationships. Um, but, you know, your eyes don't lie. You know, everyone can see through if you're not feeling right about something or you're, you're maybe not being fully honest with the person. Um, and you might be going through tough times in your relationship. But your eyes, when you look into somebody's eyes, it always you can kind of see through it sometimes and it can kind of tell the truth. So that's what that song is about. And then uh, the third one, where am I now? Uh, completely. Uh, completely. This is a this is a true story as well. It's I, I try and you know I try and tell I suppose talk about my my relationship as best I can um, and share it with you guys. I suppose um, you know when I talk you know this song is again it's just about being in love and loving somebody completely. You know one hundred percent in love, um, and it's probably my favorite out of the three songs that I've written. Um, there's just something about it. You know I love the vocal on it. The vocal is very vulnerable on it and. It goes from really low to really high, and it's uh, yeah, it's a song I'm really proud of. So I hope you like that one too. So that's the three songs. The rest of them obviously are songs that you'll all know. Um, there's obviously a lot of famous songs on there, and some songs that aren't as famous. Um, but like songs like this, I promise you, which for me is one of the best songs like ever written. You know, Richard Marx obviously you know is is very well known for writer waiting. It's probably his most famous song. Um, but this song is a song that actually he wrote for Zinc years ago. Uh, when we started out in the band, we were over in America and this song came on the radio and the first time I heard it, I just thought, wow, what a song. Um, and I didn't know Richard Marks had, had written the song at all. So um, I said, someday, you know, I might sing that song myself. Um, so here we are, 17 years later, I've recorded the song. Um, and it's the first track on my album. 
because uh, I just feel it's a really good, a really good song to open up the album. Uh, it's a very powerful love song. Um, yeah, so it's uh, something you'll probably see me singing on TV later this year as well. It's definitely a song I'm going to sing probably on tour, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, hope you like it. All right, let's get back to more questions. One second now. Let me see, what do I have here? When will your video for Unbreakable be released? It will be released soon. Um, it'll be released soon, but it'll be released probably the same time as the single. Um, so yeah, we've got a way for them two to come together. Um, hence why you're getting heaven tonight as well. Um, so I want to give it all together so you can see the exact, you know, hear the song, see the video, and see exactly where where the whole thing's going to kick off because that's when it's really going to kick off. Um, and then obviously the whole run up to the album then for another probably five or six weeks. So it's going to be a very exciting July and a very exciting August. Um, so I'm, I can't wait for you to see the video. Um, actually, the video as well is really cool um, because my nephew, my godson, uh, Killian Filan, uh, who is an actor, um, and he's just finished college studying in Dublin, um, acting and drama and stuff, and he's he's doing his first, uh, I suppose, his first big role. Um, you know, we need, I need, wanted a couple from Dublin, or a couple from, obviously, Ireland to do the video because I made the video in just outside Dublin. So I, I said, yeah, why not have Killian, my nephew? He's an actor. Uh, so it's really, really cool. I'm really proud of him. He did a great job. And his real-life girlfriend, Cloda, is in the video too. Uh, so yeah, they play the, the kind of roles. When you hear the song, you'll understand that it's, it's, it's a really cool song. Um, and they do a great job. So thumbs up for Killian and Cloda. Okay, let me see. Will you be signing... Sorry, no. Will you be oh will you be singing only songs from the new album on tour? No, I'll be singing I'll definitely be singing songs from the new album, of course. Um I definitely won't be singing just them. I'll be singing songs from my obviously my, my own songs as well from before. Um probably the singles uh, most likely and I'll be singing obviously some Westlife songs as well. I'm gonna change it up a little bit as well for the, the Westlife songs this year, a couple of surprises in there. And uh, yeah, and I'm going to throw in, you know, I always do the kind of, I suppose, the, the fun moment when you, you kind of have the dance or have a, bit of, have a bit of fun on stage. So I'm definitely going through one or, one or two more surprises I'm going to throw in the mix this year. Um, but yeah, you know, the set list is changing all the time. I've already changed the set list three times for the tour. I've added another song the other night. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a great show. The, the show this year is definitely going to be up a notch as well. I'm really going to, the stage design is coming together now and it's really, really cool. Like, really cool. Um, yeah, it's going to be very classy. That's the only word I'll say. It's going to be very classy. Um, yeah, it's uh, something I'm really looking forward to. So rehearsals are starting soon so as well for that. So looking forward to that. Um, when can we see your new website? Shamefiling.com. It will be online tonight at midnight. So midnight tonight it officially kicks off. So the, you'll have the whole new website. You'll have all the info about the album, when it's coming. Um, and all, you, know, you see some new pics and stuff on there as well some that will be in the album obviously as well uh, so that will all kick off tonight at midnight so yeah get your uh, get your computers ready uh, why is the album taking so long <laughs> the album is taking so long because I am a perfectionist and I want to give the best album I can to my fans this is my third album something again that it's hard to believe and I'm very proud of it. Um, you know, it's the last four years has been incredible. Um, and you guys have been amazing. The amount of support you've given me, it's just been, it's just amazing. And it's just, it seems to be just, I'm on a, I, I'm on a wave now. It's just going like that. Um, and the third album is probably, you know, it's, it's, I hope you think it's my best album. You know, obviously it's, it's going to be a lot of famous songs on there and stuff like that, but it's a song that I really wanted to record. I really wanted to do this album. Um, you know, and, I've changed my mind lots of times on different song choices and stuff like that and I've been in and out to the studio yeah for six seven months um it's actually taken longer than my original album you know the writing songs which is which is funny but it's it's something that when you're making an album like this you know there's there's so many famous songs out there and there's so many I could make 10 albums of these kind of albums um because there's so many songs but I just wanted the first one to be right I wanted to make sure that the track list was right I wanted to have some original songs on there I wanted to have the right kind of songs on there. There's a couple of songs with a bit of tempo as well, um, like Don't Dream It's Over, which is an amazing song, Crowded House song, uh, which I, I've loved my whole life, and Louis has been on about it for I don't know how long, but he's really wanted me to record this for the last year. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's definitely one of my favourites on the album as well. So you're going to love the album, guys. You know, it's it's as good as you'll hear me. It's as good as you'll hear me sing, you know. Um, does love always feel different from your first two solo albums? It does feel different, yeah, because, you know, I suppose the 
the songs are like already hits, you know, they're, they're already massive songs and massive hits. Um, and I feel like, as I said, it's an album I've wanted to make for a long, long time. And I feel like it's definitely a direction I, I've wanted to go in. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a song, as I said, I could make an album, I could make lots of, ver like lots of volumes of this album if I wanted to. Um, but again, you know, I, I suppose we'll see how we like this one first. Um, and then that'll tell what will happen in the future. Because at the end of the day, it's, I suppose you have to tell me, it's down to you, you know. Um, but I love singing these songs. I, I love singing great songs. I've always said that to you. Um, and, you know, it's, it's some of these songs, like especially Heaven Tonight. I just love, I, I love my vocal on it. I'm very proud of it. It's, it's such a big song. Like Brian Adams is such a great singer. And he's never changed the way he sings. And I really admire him for that. And so I've done my version of it. But it's... Um, it's definitely one of my proudest vocals that I've ever done. Will you be doing TV performances of the new album song? Yes, I'll be doing lots of TV. Um, there'll be lots of TV, radio, different things happening um, when it comes to probably closer to the time of the album. So probably August time, I'll start doing lots of different TVs, promos, different things like that. Um, obviously, I'm going to be traveling around as well. I'm going to be going out to Asia a couple of times, July and August. So I'm going to have a fairly busy schedule, but I definitely will be doing TVs in the UK and Ireland, uh, August, September time, and then continuing on, obviously, second single, third single, whatever. Uh, yeah, so a lot of plans for the next year. So it's it's going to be very, very exciting. Yeah. What is your kid's favorite song from the new album? Um, probably Don't Dream It's Over. It's been on the house, I'd say, the most the last couple of weeks um, and now the kids are going around just singing it you know like as in singing it on their own without any music on uh, the three kids have little, little voices on them in fairness and it's um, it's fun to hear it but it's definitely the one that they're probably singing the most and Unbreakable probably i say them two are the most they're, they're singing around the house so that's the first two singles so that's probably a good sign because kids don't uh, kids just sing what they like so hopefully that's a good a, a good omen for the first two singles uh, what is your what is my favorite song from the album my favorite song my god um heaven is probably my favorite song and that's why i wanted to give you that one tonight um if i had to give you one i suppose to sh to, to show what this album means to me vocally um song wise ballad wise love song wise heaven is as good as it gets um so you know it's just such a beautiful song and brian adams version is amazing obviously as well so it's uh yeah that's probably my favorite song i love don't dream it's over because it's just a really really good song really good chorus obviously very very sing along i think it'll be great on tour um and i think yeah the chorus of it is probably the most enjoyable chorus that i've sang in studio for a long time uh it's something i felt like my voice was really in a good place in it um, it goes really high, really low. It's it's a funny kind of chorus, but it's it's obviously it's an amazing song. So uh, that's probably my second favorite. Um, th like you know, they're all my favorites. I love all the songs. Um, that's why I picked them all. Um, and everybody kind of even you know the the label Louis, everybody we all kind of agreed on the exact type of songs and what what the album needed. It's got a bit of tempo. It's got a bit of you know acoustic songs, just piano, just acoustic guitar. Um, you know, even like the the fans' choice song, the one that the the thing I tweeted about like a few months ago, um, that was Eternal Flame, and it's a song, Bangles song, which I absolutely love the Bangles. I love all their songs. You know, I remember growing up listening to the Bangles and, and thinking, you know, you know, just song after song, hit after hit. They remind me of a lot of happy childhood memories. So when I heard that, I was like, oh my god, I never thought of doing that. So I won't tell you the girl's name because it's on the album. It's in my thank yous. And I thank the girl personally for her suggestion. Um, yeah, and it's, it was a great suggestion. And it finishes the album. And it's a very acoustic version of it. Um, and it's obviously not like the Bangles version. Uh, it's very low. It's very, very close up to the mic. Um, but again, it's different. And every song on this album is slightly different. And yeah, it's an album, again, I'm, I'm really proud of. You know? Okay, what else is there? Uh, hello from Dallas, Texas. Hello, Dallas, Texas. How are you? <laughs> uh, sing for us, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Sing for us, please. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> Somebody just said that. Can't take my eyes off of you. Hi, Shane. When are you coming to Singapore? Um, I'm coming to Singapore. I'll be coming later in the year. I'm going to do a lot of stuff in Asia over the next 12 months. Uh, we have lots of big plans. Um, I'm going to be coming there, obviously, to Indonesia first. 
Um, I'm going to be going in July and August uh, for shows. And uh, obviously we plan to go back then to launch the album and all that kind of stuff and do loads of promo over there. So I'm going to be spending a lot more time in Asia than I have been the last couple of years. And I'm definitely going to tour there. Uh, and we're going to do a big tour. A big, big tour. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of me Asia. So Singapore will definitely be one of those places. Hello, Shane. Ah, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Hi, Russia. How are you? My God, all these things coming in. <laughs> Say hi to Kamichi. Hi, Kamichi. Can't wait to see you in Surabaya. Can't wait to see you, Surabaya. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really good fun. Uh, say something in Gaelic. Say something in Gaelic, Shane. Kona sa ta tu. Ta me gumai. That means I am well. How are you? I am well. What else is there? Okay. Liam is whispering here to me. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> it's so funny like and I didn't set this up by the way Liam said all this I haven't a clue how to do any of this kind of stuff um, even with a bad signal Liam still managed to have another tablet to put up and find a signal somewhere uh, so he's great he's uh, yeah, he's right there now Jakarta I will be definitely coming to Jakarta definitely um, absolutely okay so Liam just give me a note explain the change he's just put it on the phone like this read this so to explain the change because we've given you heaven is because we want to have the video and the single going together um, and also there's going to be an exclusive radio play in the UK uh, with a rather large radio station um, and they're going to do the exclusive play um, can I say one of this? no <laughs> it's going to be soon it's not going to be early this month it's not going to be too late this month or next month but it'll probably be in there somewhere I've said that already. So just to remind you that uh, my signed copies of the album, Liam's told me, is only available. You can only get the signed copies on shamefiling.com. Uh, you can pre-order them from tonight and they'll obviously be posted out to you when the album comes out. But you can only get them there. You can't get them anywhere else. Um, yeah, so that's why we, we explained Unbreakable, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So Unbreakable, yeah, is uh, going to be coming to you soon. And it's a great song and I'm really happy with it. And I hope you love it. Um, yeah, I've been told here to... Uh, let me see, we get a couple of more questions. You are feeling the love now. I am feeling the love. Say hi to your Brazilian fans. Hello, Brazil. Hello, the Philippines. Hello, Malaysia. Hello, Jakarta. Oh, my God, all these countries. My God, you're amazing. Uh, yeah. I can hardly believe. I can hardly believe either. You know, it's amazing. Um, We'll, we'll definitely do a live Q&A again. I actually really enjoyed this and I'm actually sad that we have to go now. Um, but I'm doing a TV show at the moment so I've got to go do that. And uh, we will be talking to you soon. So from me to you, thank you very much. I love you all very much. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, love always. See you soon. <laughs>